Testies, testies, one, two, one, two. Testies, testies, one, two, one, two. All right, man. Look, I'm taking it back, man. I took it all the way back to the first wall from the first videos to the first shit because I'm all not even front on y'all, man. Fucking your boy been kind of uh like half depressed. I don't know what it is, man. I'm, I mean, depression will creep up on a fool. You know what I'm saying? It uh, does what it does. Maybe it's because your moms ain't been paying enough attention to me. Maybe it's because I drink too much. Maybe it's just, you know, the seasons change, things like that. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I've been down in the motherfucking dumps and I've been depriving y'all because of it, man. So today I decided I'm going to try to turn over a new leaf and come back at least a little bit, skip back, play it again. You know what I mean? We're going to try to do what we got to do to get where we got to be and do, you know, just uh, represent the way I'm supposed to, man. See, boy wrote the big Waldowski up in this piece, what it do, what it does, what it is, what it was. Uh... I'm out here, man. I ain't been slacking on buying the Dixons, dude. I even took it back and put a fucking uh, cookie shirt on, man, because that's what I was wearing. I think the first video I was wearing a cookie shirt under a, a, under a Dixon, and it's hot in a bitch out here in Lansing, Michigan. So, uh, yeah, we're going to rock the uh, T-shirt only today. <clears throat> I do have been buying the button-ups. I did fail. I failed on the uh, Slayer button-up, the Bamboo Slayer. I fucked that one up, man. I can't believe I fucked it up neither because that was one that I actually wanted. I've skipped some on purpose. Like, I did skip the link because I didn't need the moo cow. I have not been buying everyone. I've been depriving y'all. But I have done some other things. Like y'all saw, I did buy the Born Scum. I did buy the Hales. I've been trying to, you know, at least throw a little bit of shit at y'all so it's not full-blown. But if y'all could see all the times that I've recorded a video and then just deleted it because I've got to ranting off on some super old depressed-ass shit... Now, my homeboy Kale passed away the other day, so I got on some real dark shit for a couple days after that, man. I opened some things, and it was just, man, it was not fit for uploading, man. I, was a, I didn't want the sob story. I didn't want the support. I mean, I get it. I get it. I appreciate anybody that does do that, but that's not what I was after, man. I, I really, uh, like I said, man, I was on some dark shit, and then before that, I was just... I just wasn't happy with uh, where I was going mentally, where I was going uh, with the videos. It wasn't what this channel is about. It wasn't what this whole little family and flavor that we've kind of built, man. I mean, we hit 150 fucking subscribers. That ain't shit to some people. They got 150,000 or 150 million. But yo, 150 of the coolest some bitches on the planet watch this shit, man. Watch my lame ass get drunk in open flannels. So here I am drunk early afternoon sipping on spicy milk with mad rum in it god damn um but uh i had been slacking on the spicy rum because it's been like 80 90 degrees or spicy milk because it's been 80 90 degrees dude and i'm gonna go ahead and tell you all super drunk with a belly full of milk is not the move on a 90 degree day milk was a bad choice okay <laughs> but uh yeah like i said man we're gonna skip back play it back rewind begin it again <laughs> before mr finnegan lost his chin again <laughs> begin again um we're going to try to try to do what we got to do. Uh, I fucked up, missed the Slayer. I fucked up, missed the Suicidal Tendencies, but I ordered it from Australia. It hasn't showed up yet. I did get the Merrimack, man. Um, I opened it the other day in one of the videos that I deleted. I apologize that y'all don't get to watch me pull it out the package. But on the same note, I apologize to me because I ordered it in a large for some reason, thinking that large was going to be the move. And the large Merrimack is not the move. It is very much uh, young. You can see my man breastuses, my moobs, if you will. Uh, I, got, I got breastuses. Ooh, they're not sexy. Um, I'm sexy. Your mom tells me I'm sexy. So, I mean, that's cool, you know. So, I'll see you at breakfast and shit. But, uh, yeah, there goes the inner one right there. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it just because, like I said, man, I, I, kind of, I feel lame for even doing it because of the fact that I did already open this shit, man. I already opened this shirt. And I, and I was really surprised to see, honestly, I will touch base on that. I didn't know that there was that little thin blue line. I don't know if y'all can make it out on here. I thought that this was just gray and black, which the thin blue line doesn't bother me. But uh, uh, I thought it was gray and black. Oh, shit, I forgot to show you the button. I don't know if y'all will get it. I will still put together the uh, little collage dodgy The collage in this, the collage -y. And this fool, man, I didn't know that... Uh, because, you know, I was an office space guy. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Um, 
I guess I didn't realize that the Milton was the deepener. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, wing line deepener? It's red. I didn't realize that. I mean, I, I saw the Lundberg and I saw the Milton and I saw that shit. And I guess I never really realized that that black Milton was Milton from my shit, you know, because I work in there and I really want to smash my copying machine. Matter of fact, I want to smash all of our computers because our internet is so fucking slow in my office. It is a bitch to get anything done. <coughs> it seems like whatever the fastest computer is, is the one that I'm not on. But I did cop this um, once I figured it out. Really, my chick copped it for me because you know how she does, man. My chick be doing everything she can to try to cheer your boy up, man. Um, she tries so fucking hard and I'm such a shit bag. But, hey, it is what it is, dude. What am I going to do other than just be around here and holler at your moms and uh, be a hard, give my chick a hard time and, you know, get drunk? It'd be amazing as fuck. Shit. But, yeah, the baby blew up top, you know what I mean? So, so. And down bottom. Bam, the Milton party shirt in this bitch. It's got the pearlescent, pearlescent Milton buttons. Like I said, man, I ain't spending a whole lot of time on these because I did already open these the other day on a video I deleted like a schmuck. I apologize, man. This one, uh, I already, I don't know if I uploaded the one where I got the titties and boats or bo booties and boats or whatever the fuck in red, white, and blue, but I got that bitch in an extra large and it is big enough for like three of your boy to get in. So it's crazy. I can order this in a large and it's way too young on me, way underage, pedophile shit. And then I can order this in a large and it's plenty big enough, even after washing it, plenty big. Um, and this tag is a little bit overkill. I'm not sure if they know that or not at the fucking f the, uh, factory in China where all the little Asian kids finish sewing soccer balls and then make these shirts for Danny. Here, somebody gets that. Uh, Matter of fact, yeah, I don't know. I'll throw that in with somebody's prize, somebody's present. Somebody go get a prize, they go get a present, and they're gonna get that thing thrown in with it. Oh, golly. But, uh, yeah, there goes that. And, uh, all right, man, we're gonna keep, we're just keeping it moving, man, because I do got a couple packages to open. I got a couple things to touch on, and I want to touch on the 150 subscribers thing, man, because I do have, uh, some shit that I want to put together, and uh, I, I, I want to touch base on that with y'all, man. Fucking fortunate youth. Uh, I think the getting stoned banana and the whole flipping off banana and all that shit is dope. I don't know anything about Fortunate Youth. I know absolutely nothing about these cats, but I am going to probably listen to some and see what's popping with it. See what's popping, see what's cracking, see what's good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, shit. Uh, yeah, Fortunate Youth with the stony nanner. I'm not exactly sure of relevance or the uh, significance of this super baked banana. And it looks to be shaped like a slice of pizza, or maybe it's a tornado, or maybe it's a cone, or maybe I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, and it just happens to be shaped like a slice. I just, um, it's pushing up on lunchtime around here, I'm a little bit buzzed, and I could go for a slice. Um, so there's the chest tag, the little pocket tag, fortunate youth. Um, and down here yonder, I don't know, it looks like this came off of the, uh, uh, uh the, the something different, but it's, I mean, there's red and yellow around this and black, so it is what it is. It is what it is and stuff, so you know what I'm saying? But this shit's, I mean, I don't know. It's obnoxious to me, like the chips and guac. A lot of these fucking, uh, a lot of the party shirts are obnoxious as fuck to me. Um, but yeah, for a second, let me touch base before I open up these packages. Matter of fact, I got a little one that's mine and a bigger one that's my brother's. And then I should have some more shit showing up here pretty quick, like probably tomorrow. I th uh, mañana. Um, hold on. That is some fucking ooh, spicy fucking milk, bro. I don't know how warm it is because I haven't checked the weather, but I'm guessing I'm going to be like all down the front of my fucking Harley. Uh, so yeah, 150 fucking subscribers, man. It's still going to be the same half dozen, dozen of y'all that I fucking love from the get-go, man. Josh, fucking Justin, fucking JR, J, man. Yo, y'all, uh, <clears throat> the, the, man, y'all are the bread and butter, the roots of this dumbass channel and my dumbass and gave me something cooler than, you know, just fucking showing out for myself, man. Fucking, uh... I don't know. I don't, I don't think y'all could relate to how important like y'all were to me or are to me and how how much I needed like something to do with my time. Because like I said, man, I, I have a tendency to 
to uh, substance abuse and spiral out of control without fucking notice. <laughs> but it can get real dark, man. Shit. Uh, when I started this, last year I lost 26 friends. Uh, that, that, that is a ridiculous amount of friends to lose at my age. But I managed to, I'm one of them people that's lucky enough to, uh, I've lived in a lot of different cities. I've done a lot of different things and I've, I've been part of a lot of different activities, groups, and, uh, <clears throat> adventures, if you will. And I've managed to hold on to like five, 10, 15 people from each of these friend groups. And I don't mean like some rando acquaintance. I'm talking about people I could call them and fucking be like, hey, bro, I need help. Or they could call me and be like, hey, bro, I need help. I have a tight friend group, man. 26 people I lost last year. Now, mind you, seven of them were acquaintances. Seven acquaintances, 19 close fucking friends. One of them being my niece, um, which fucking meant the world to me. So, I mean, I'm not going to get too dark right here, but I want to let y'all know that this was this was something that I was doing with my free time that I fucking needed. And some of y'all, the original ones of y'all that showed support, y'all are more important uh, than any fucking internet stranger could ever be. I mean, some of y'all, man, like JR, man, you fucking sent me a shirt when I didn't didn't fucking do nothing for you, man. I was just some stranger and you hooked me up. You hooked me up with some shit I needed. Um, Randall, I mean, shit, Josh, look, man, look, I'm sipping out the big Waldowski mug, man. You hooked me up with that shit. You didn't have to do that, man. I mean, there's just so much shit that y'all have done for me that you didn't need to do. And it blew my mind. Fuck, man, I got Jeff up in Connecticut fucking super happy that I sent him a button. You know what I mean? I mean, fucking, and a little drawing that I did. <clears throat> I don't know. This is, apparently this is the fucking super soft episode, you know what I mean? Fucking, this is me being soft. But this is my comeback, man. I'm coming back. <laughs> don't call it a comeback. I've been here since last year. Um, no, for real, I fell off, man. If y'all if y'all would have seen me or heard me or talked to me in the last couple few weeks, man, in real life, you'd have been like, what the fuck? Who is this soft-ass, pussy-ass, fucking punk-ass, bitch-ass dude? And it was me, man, over here like fucking, oh, God dang, maybe I want to eat a pistol-flavored breath mint. You know, I mean, not really, but you know what I'm saying? Like fucking, I don't know. I was just over here fucking just down in the dumps, feeling bad for myself. Woe is me. But I'm over that shit. I gotta be over that shit because that shit is dumb as fuck. And if somebody else was with it, I'd be like, man, rub some fucking dirt on it and keep it fucking moving, dog. You stand up when you piss? Because I stand up when I piss. I hold my dick at the urinal. That's where these small hands look cool. At the urinal, you feel me? <laughs> Woo. Um, but yeah, 150 fucking subscribers, man. 150 people watch my stupid ass do this. So with that being said, number one, my brother TC from right here, um, he was like, man, he's like, ask him fucking, he's like something super simple, fucking, what was the first Dixon flannel, what was the name, and when did it come out? The first Dixon flannel, what was the name, and when did it come out? Now, whoever can answer me that gets a brand new pair of fucking Dixon underwear that my bra bought, my, oh shit, probably shouldn't call my chick my bra, but, uh, but I don't, it's, it wasn't derogatory, man. I'd be calling it, like, even my bitch isn't derogatory in my world, like, in my mind, because I love my chick. But I might say, oh, my bitch doing this, or my bra doing this, or my old lady doing this. It's never, I'd be calling her mama, and I'll fucking go to war for my bra, you know what I'm saying? But uh, <clears throat> she bought me some shit the same time I was buying me some shit. She bought me the uh, the Capone. She bought me the give them the bird underwear. And she bought me the uh, something else. And I was buying myself the exact same shit at the exact same fucking time. So, one pack of those large ass, large underwears have not been opened. I promise my balls have never touched them. And even if they had, man, you'd be blessed with some of my nut sex with to talk to your mama. Uh, so, you get that. But, uh, yeah, so whoever can tell me that, get a free pack of drawers, man. I'm going I'm to fucking send them. Hopefully, you can wear large, man. If you can't wear large, I guess give them to your homeboy that can wear large. Uh, and you might get something different, man. You might get a little extra something, something in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe a little fucking packet of pubes. No, uh, it'll be that. It'll be, uh, whoever can tell me that gets a free pack of drawers. That's $19.99, man. Fucking my chick spent or I spent, depending which way you look at it. Um, the next thing 
Then I'm going to say, it's something way off topic. This ain't even Dixon based. It ain't fucking flannel based. It ain't nothing based. It's Harley based. And it's my Harley. And I don't know if I have leaked it. I don't think I have. So it might be a guessing game. This is a fucking, you know, one in a million shot. I have been putting together a sound system on Old Blue. And the sound system that I'm putting together on Old Blue is all the same brand name. Now, mind you, the deck, the amp, and the speakers are the same. And I plan on buying a secondary amp and subwoofers for the bags that are going to be the same brand. Um, so all of everything in Old Blue is going to be the same brand name. And hopefully y'all, if, if one of y'all can guess and tell me what brand name I'm using and running with for Old Blue Sounds, I will fucking hook y'all up with a custom, uh, one of my drawings, man, that I do of names. And I'm talking about an actual real deal one um, with whatever name you choose, your nickname or your real name or your last name or your family name or your kid's name. I just want to know a couple little details, probably your favorite colors or whatever. And it'll be a nine by 12 actual art paper in a frame. And it'll be something like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to flash some of them up right here. I've showed off some of my art, but I will try to flash up like boom, 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 boom. Here's some of my shit. This is some things I've done for some of my bros. Um, and hopefully you can get a little bit of an idea of what I'm talking about. Now, mind you, this is something that I personally would want a couple hundred dollars for if I was going to do this for somebody other than like, you know, when I do them as gifts or whatever. I mean, this is, you're talking about, I mean, I use Copic markers, man. I'm using markers that are eight bucks a piece and I'm eating up fucking three, four or five of them on one of these drawings. I'm using real deal frames with glass, man. Fucking, I'm buying at Walmart for, you know, a little four or five, six dollars, whatever the fuck they cost. That ain't shit, but whatever. I mean, at that point, you know, I've already got 40, 40 bucks into them. And then fucking, I'm using real deal art paper, man. Fucking 24 slices and a $15 pad. So at that point, you know, I'm, I mean, we're looking at, we're looking at like just my cost into it is already like 40, 50 bucks. And then my time, and I don't know uh, what artists be charging, but myself, when I, when I go to work, I make fucking anywhere from 30 to 80 bucks an hour, man. So if I'm doing art, I would like to make at least 20. I mean, I'd like to think that my art time is worth at least that. So, I mean, in most of these, usually I spend anywhere from four to 20. <laughs> Catch that. I spend anywhere from four to 20 hours. So let's say four at a minimal at 20 an hour, you know, fucking there's another 80 bucks. So we're looking at $100, $150, man. Uh, so yeah, if you can tell me that, I'm going to make that for you. I'm going to make that happen. Uh and, and it, that one will be a little bit of a turnaround because, like I said, man, I'm going to need what name you want me to do. I'm going to need uh, how you want me to do it. And, I mean, it could be super ghetto. It could be super fucking not ghetto. I mean, like, if you look at my brother Moose, uh, Boss Moose's shit, his shit is, like, fucking his name reflecting in the water. Um, or you could look at fucking, I mean, shit, my brother Kickstand shit, he got an affinity for the Sweet Leaf. Um, all the way down to my brother Lockett, man. Uh, you know, just a gate. He got to lock it up, man. Uh, I mean, it could be whatever, man. And I, I, I'm going to show off. I mean, and even, even, even my, yo, my, my fucking roll dog, my ace boom. Yo, yo, you seen, uh, fucking badge did a guest spot on here. I did one for him and this right here. Uh, or whatever. Hopefully, hopefully I can flash it up right here and I'm not just looking like a dipshit, but yeah, the badge one. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Fucking, uh, La Familia Por Encimo de Toro, uh, which is family over everything, man. Fucking, I think that's, that's, uh, what I put on there. Um, if I, if I recall correctly, I don't know why I just bit that chunk off my thumb. Like, somebody, I don't know. <laughs> eat some fingernails too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there's, uh, number one and number two. Number the first two things, uh, and I'm going to do two more things. Matter of fact. Uh, but first things first, let me open this bag of my brother's, man. This is my brother's shit. Let's see what my brother got. Uh, boom, bam, boom, 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 bam, 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 uh. Oh, we back to the micro tech. I had to do some works on it, man. It fucking wasn't opening right. It was dull. I was going to send it right back to micro tech. I got some bullshit ass, cheap ass knife to carry in the meantime. But I fucked around with it. I got her working. Everything's working. She ain't as sharp as she should be because I fucking definitely have cut some things that shouldn't have been cut with the fucking micro tech. But I'll tell you what, this bitch is still sharper than your grandma's fucking mustache hair. Um, 
Now, uh, okay, let's see what my brother got. Man, this dude, he got, what did he get? He got a t-shirt. Oh, the Never Surrender t-shirt. This is the one that says, uh, work hard, stay humble on the back, on the, uh, on the uh, anvil. I think I have this coming. If I don't, forgive me, but I'm going to probably have this in an upcoming video, so I'm not going to open his. Um, what did he get here? What is this? Oh, the classic lime green. I did open this in a video already. He was just like, and he didn't buy it when I bought it. I bought that when I bought, I can't remember what the fuck I bought. Shit, that boy got the fucking, yo, the pencil, the big lime green pinstripe fucking towel. We are going to open this. Fuck what he's talking about. I'm opening this towel. Man, I should have opened it before I took a shower. I could have washed my fucking dry my balls off with this shit. This bitch is cold, man. I will, you know what? <clears throat> I don't know if any of y'all have gotten these towels yet. Yo, the Dixon towels are not fucking around, dude. These are nice fucking towels, man. Uh, I don't remember how much they cost, but uh, I fucking am a supporter. They got, yeah, the back is just white, whatever, whoop-de-whoop. -whoop, but it's because look how fucking sick the other side is. I'll buy this one and just hang it on my goddamn wall, man. This motherfucker is a sign. Here's your sign. Fucking, I don't know nothing about country, but I did hear... Uh, that dude do that during the blue collar comedy tour or whatever fucking murder huh i do a lot of copyrighted shit in here man fucking so what i'll sing post malone right now to your mom <clears throat> i don't know if y'all can see it but this is me i'm all spread eagle behind here oh hi hello uh, yeah you can tie it oh fuck damn okay it brings me back to another thing man one of y'all did for me JR. matter of fact i think it was jr i'm almost 100 percent i'm like 107% positive that it was Jay already caught me that motherfucking, uh, grab my grabby grabby after I was bitching about wanting a grabby grabby, you know what I mean? And I fucking, when I dropped shit on the floor, my fat ass didn't have to get down there and get it. Because the grabby grabby will get it. I just get it with a handle. And this fool, uh, he tripping, because all he did was order a melon. Uh, he don't know nothing about that. He ain't about to wear that. Uh, alright, but someone dropped his shit over here. And then I'm going to fold this little towel up. We're going to fold this, you know. <clears throat> God dang. Whew. It's like 2 in the afternoon in uh, the palm of the mitten. And your boy is fucking half slashed. I'm like, fucking, this is my one day off. It's my first day I've been in a halfway good mood, dude. Ugh. Wish my chick was home so I could give her the high hard one. Take me a little him. He's strong like bull. <laughs> hey, take me a... Uh, What's crazy is I generally, I don't know, sometimes I don't even need to take a hand. I feel like, I don't know. I fucked around and bought this cock ring on Amazon and uh, wore that shit the other day. I fell asleep with that bitch on. I woke up, my whole dick looked like a hickey. That's why this channel is, that's why this show is not for children. Because I just say whatever the fuck comes to my mind. And I'm going to keep it that way 100% of the fucking time. Anybody that doesn't like it can fuck off. And I promise if they don't like it and they want to hate on me, I'm going to do everything in my power to fuck their mom in her butt. Ah. <sighs> but, they'll, uh, oh, all right. Um, next. All right, what was next? All right, bet. So, <laughs> 150 subscriber shit. Hey, man, somebody going to get this one. Somebody can get this one with flying colors. The fucking gar most garbage bullshit ass fuck ass piece of fuck ass flannel in my collection. What's the most bullshit flannel I got? The most bullshit flannel I got. I got two of it, matter of fact. And if you can tell me, first one of y'all to tell me what the most bullshit raggedy ass fuck ass flannel that I got in my collection is. Just a sorry piece of fuck. I'm going to send it to you, and I'm going to sign the bag, and I'm going to be like, man, fuck this flannel, right on the package or something. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be a thing. So there's the third thing, and I'm going to give something, a fourth thing away, and I don't know what the fourth thing is yet. Fourth thing might be this young-ass fucking Merrimack that I can't wear because my fucking man tits, or it'll be, uh, I don't know, it depends. So the, the last thing I'm going to give away is going to be uh, either that Merrimack, that young-ass large right there, or my brand new in the package, uh, Capone. I got a Capone brand new in the package. So it could be that. 
Um, if you don't have one of them, it'll be either extra large or a large. That way there's two sizes, you know what I'm saying? So the fourth thing could be one of two things. Because I'm not going to return that bitch, man. I'm going to fucking fuck around and sell it like I've been doing all this other shit on eBay. Um, but with that being said, the next thing is... Oh, man. What's one more question? I need one more, one last big shebang for my 150, man. Fucking, uh, ooh, it's a multi-part. It's a multi-part question. Okay, this is what it is. How many followers did I want to have before I did my first giveaway that I missed and didn't get to do? Then, how many followers was my first real giveaway then, how many followers was my third giveaway? Now, with that being said, that's one, two, three. And because this is the fourth part, so I don't know. So the fourth part is, matter of fact, fourth and fifth. Because I'm fourth and fifth, I'm talking about the Merrimack or the Capone. So that's five. Maybe we'll give away all five. But So, okay, with that being said, the first giveaway I wanted to do but I didn't get to do because I missed it. What what? How many followers was that going to be at? The second giveaway, which was actually my first giveaway. How many followers was that at? Then my real deal second giveaway. This should have been my third. How many followers was that at? Then how many followers was my fourth and fifth giveaways? Right there. So that will win you. If you know those fucking... Five numbers. I mean, it's, it's it's easy. Five numbers. I can think of them right off the top of my head. Mm, 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 mm. And so the first five numbers. Yep. And you would have also not only would you have had to know those numbers, so you'd have had to been watching for a minute. You got to be an OG. You also have to be fucking. 25 plus minutes into this dumbass video of me ranting and raving on my comeback from the fucking depression kick. Yeah. All right. Now let me open this. Because I don't know what the fuck it is. Because I've ordered. Uh, I didn't get to manage to order me the fucking. I didn't get to. Order, man, I'm so upset that I didn't get to order me the fucking. Uh, the. The. Uh, the Suicidal Tendencies is coming from Australia, so that's why. Uh, damn, what's up, Snotty McSnodderton? Dang, I need, I'll need a tissue. <laughs> Dang, maybe I should use this towel. Um, yeah, so the Suicidal Tendencies, and I got it in a large, so that's so wack, dog. Some, I hope somebody, man, it, man, fuck, dude. I hope somebody got one in an extra large that's too big for them, and they're like, man, I really want a fucking large. And they'll trade me because I'm not even going to open my large. I'm going to just hold it in hopes that somebody will give me an extra large for my large. Mm. And then uh, what else? I didn't get the Slayer, so it can't be that. I'm going to guess that this has to be. Well, this is not big enough to be. This can't be the Giddy Up. And because what did I get with I got the Giddy Up? I got some other shit with the Giddy Up. And, fuck, who was I joking with, man, about the, uh, we got the yellow underwear for when the pee dribble, and then, uh, the green underwear came for, you know, like, if you, uh, eat Fruity Pebbles, and you, and I was like, man, wait till they put out some brown underwear, man, the giddy up, they fucked around and put up some brown underwear, man, and I ain't ordered them bitches yet, I gotta order the brown underwear, man, I'm gonna have to order the brown underwear, and we're gonna itch our butts, and we're not gonna, nobody's gonna know, it's gonna be tight, and your girl's gonna watch the laundry, and she's gonna be like, what the fuck did you do in your underwear, uh, alright, so this is a mystery, I'm going to guess, the only thing I can guess is that maybe this is the uh, uh, fucking uh, the uh, cystic fibrosis fucking shirt that came out. But I don't feel like there's a shirt and a t-shirt in here. But the bamboos are really thin. And it's, uh, um, ooh, I was right, man. Fucking. So, this is going to be the, uh, what is it? The 65 fucking roses. But we'll go for the t-shirt first. Yo, my chick loves purple, and I like purple, so I think it's super fucking dope that uh, this shit came out in purple. Matter of fact, I really wish that I had some fucking purple shoes. I wish I didn't miss every pair of fucking Jordans that comes out lately, man. Every time a fucking pair comes out, I get fucked. I try to fucking win them, and I just... Oh, 
The only thing I ever see on sneakers.com is didn't get them or sorry, you unfortunately you were not selected. So yeah, it's just a black t-shirt fucking with the standard uh standard logo with the perps, you know what I'm saying? The perpy derps. I'm wearing uh, this shit. This money purple on this cookie shirt. I don't know if you can see it. Everything is purple. Everything purple. I used to like purple sip. But nowadays, it be making me itch my butt and sleepy. And I don't like to be sleepy. I like to be awake. It's kind of depressing. I'll be wrong. Oh. All right. But follow it up with the motherfucking diss. And look, they've been giving out the uh, thank you for being a badass at the U.S. again. Love all my Dixons. My son and I have tons of matching ones. The sizes are all true. Quality is amazing. One of the best brands I've seen come up in a while. Glad to support local. Glad to support local. Fucking Danny is from fucking Arizona, first off. So, uh, it's not very local in Lansing, Michigan. But, I would love to say that it was independent. But, uh, I mean, realistically, man, he makes like $50 million a year. Is that really independent anymore? Plus, I really, really like my Hell Speed Shop G code. Um, that shit is dope. I'm about to buy the aficionado. And I'm not hating on D Dixon, mind you. I'm just fucking I'm exploring my options. You know, like a fucking you know, when a girl goes to college, she gets bisexual, fucking well, I'm not gonna do that because I know that I don't like to suck dick or have fucking I don't want dicks in me and I don't wanna put my dick in dudes because fucking hairy butts don't drive me nuts. Um <clears throat> um I mean, it's cool. If you like to suck dicks, hey, bro, feel free. Suck all the dicks you want. If you like fucking hairy dicks in your hairy butt, fucking do it, bro. If you like to put your dick in hairy butts, that's cool, too. Um, but it's not for me, man. So, uh, <clears throat> but I do like to experiment with my uh, clothing brands and clothing manufacturers and things of that nature. So I have been branching off into uh, Hales. And I bought the Born Scum. The uh, Born Scum fucking, uh, what is it, is it the, uh, the OG, the black and white one that they got? It's probably made its way into, as far as having buttons, it's made its way into my top fucking five or ten flannels, period. Point blank. The material feels great. The fucking buttons, it, it's comfortable. I fucking dig it. Other than that super goofy ass fucking skull on the pocket and the fact that it says born scum on the bottom. And honestly, I am a scumbag. I'm a fucking full blown sleazeball. But I wear my shit to work. And I work in an office setting and I work in an office setting that fucking is not accepting of skulls with lightning bolts and born scum. So I have to fucking pick and choose my battles and I'm not allowed to wear, I, I, I'm allowed because I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm a goddamn grown up. I stand up when I piss, like I said earlier, but <coughs> I'm not going to wear the born scum to work, man. Um, the Hales G code fucking love it, dude. Top three flannels in my collection. I fucking wore it, literally wore it until it was so dirty that I couldn't wear it for another day because it smelled like fucking three days ago. <clears throat> I fucking just funk doctored it the fuck out. I do know that they say, go ahead and wash our shit, dry our shit, hang our shit, do whatever you want to do with our shit. Well, I washed it, didn't dry it, hung it, and it got a lot of pills on it. I'm probably going to shave that motherfucker. But I also know that, uh, uh, God, who was I telling, man? I talked to one of y'all just last night. Matter of fact, I was supposed to do it a week ago, but like I said, I've been slipping. I weighed it, and it weighs like 50 grams more than uh, the SNS Teardrop Dixon, which is the next, because the SNS Teardrop is gray and black and has snaps. So I was like, okay, the fucking Hales is black and white and has snaps. Let me find something from recent that's about the same. I'll put them together and I'll weight them. It's, it actually was 48.4 grams heavier in the same size. For anybody that gives a fuck about that, 49.4. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I'm calling it 50 grams. Um, I'm not going to tell you how I know or how I weighed uh, 50 grams up around here um, because you don't need to know. How we know anything about weighing grams or anything of that nature. But I don't know, man. The Hales is fucking dope. The Born Scum's dope. The fucking Dixon shit's dope. I want more black and white shit. Troll 
man, I wanted to fucking dig some of their shit, but I just keep looking at their flannels. And, like, some of them are, like, $99.99. They're out of their goddamn mind, dude. I'm not going to give you $100 for some fuck-ass flannel I never heard of. And I like the shit, fucking dirty hands, clean money. Well, I don't get my fucking hands dirty anymore, dude. I sit at a fucking desk, and I type at a computer, and I fucking tell people what to do. And they get dirty hands, and I fucking get money. And so, fuck off. I'm not going to pay $100 for your fuck-ass flannel. Especially since none of them are really as dope as anything Dixon, Born Scum, or Hales. Uh, what is as dope as Dixon, Born Scum, and Hales is fucking uh, Unknown Industries, man. God, I wish I could get a hold of one of them, man. And the two that I want are just so long gone. I don't know how... Uh, man, man, that death wish. Dude, I'm, I'm, I I don't know. Maybe I'll go back on that college plan. And like, man, I'll fuck your dick. I wouldn't really, but I mean, I'm, maybe I'll get somebody to do it. You know what I mean? There might be somebody out here that's like, man, I'll fucking think for a you know, I'll fucking get Roach Flannel. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, man. I really want that fucking death wish in an extra large. I need to try that fucking thing on. I need to try it on. I need to try it out. I need to wear it. I need to be dope in that because I feel like it's the one. And then the Izzy, man, naming it after your fucking dog and having your pit bull on the logo. Man, that is so me. Shit. I wish I could show you all my pit bulls, but my baby mom got some, man. Fucking, uh, and I ain't getting no new ones because my chick got a squirrel deer in there. And if I get a pit bull puppy, like three week old puppy, will kill that fucking thing she's got in there hiding behind my bed. It just shivers like it's fucking cold and 110 degrees because it's fucking terrible. It's just weak. It's not even a fucking, it's like the worst creature ever. Mm -hmm. But yeah. All right. I've been blabbering, 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 blabbering. Let's open up cystic fibrosis. I don't even know what cystic fibrosis is, but uh, I mean, I know it's not the Michael J. Fox because that's Parkinson's, and uh, I know people that have that, and that's sad. Um, I get a little shaky if I uh don't sleep enough and maybe don't have my sugars. If my sugars aren't right, man, I got the sugars. Because I fucking don't know how to eat and I fucking may or not, may not abuse substances and things of that nature. Oh, dang it. I missed fucking uh, doing this for you guys, man. In a, in a happy-go-lucky fashion instead of the way that I was doing the ones that I was deleting. Them fucking deleted videos. Boy, I, wish, I almost wish I could dig them up and be like, look at how dark this shit was, dude. <clears throat> but on the same note, I'm like, man, fuck how dark that shit was. Man, we're pulling all this shit out. We're grabbing the tags. What is cystic fibrosis? I mean, I'm sh I mean, I'm assuming that it's some sort of something that creates cysts on your fibrosis. But I don't know what your fibrosis is. I don't know. That's something I probably should have. Uh, I probably should have studied that. And somebody's gonna probably be mad at me because they're gonna be like, my grandma has cystic fibrosis. You fucking asshole. And I'll be like, your mom probably has it too. So send her over, and I'll fuck it out of her. I don't know. Um, yeah, here's the roses. There's 65 of them. Hey, wait. Am I tripping? Or do these roses look like lungs? Does cystic fibrosis have anything to do with lungs? Who? If I'm onto something there, hell yeah. If I'm not, fuck yeah, too. I don't care. Fucking, it could be, uh, they look like lungs, kind of. Cystic fibrosis might be in your lungs. So, yeah, maybe all that fucking uh, bullshit cocaine I did in the 90s fucking is going to give me cystic fibrosis. Or, wait, no, the cocaine I did in the 90s was good. It was the cocaine recently that's terrible. Or, wait, no. Only uh, other people do that. I don't do drugs. I just get drunk. Hmm, weird. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, 65 roses. Yeah, they look like lungs to me, man. They gotta be lungs. Are they ovaries? I don't know. Fuck. Is that a uterus? I don't really know. I'm not really up on my fucking human anatomy, I guess. That eighth grade education really led me down. It's really led me down there, Norm. I had to get some night crawlers and go night fishing, eh? <laughs> Look at this. I was pulling strings. Pulling the string. Make a zing. Make your head go babbling. I hope I uploaded some of them other videos. I wonder if I can get away with... Uh, I put new turn signals on Old Blue. Man, this is going to be a fucking so long, dude. I'm going to upload. Matter of fact, I'm going to upload this video if it'll let me. And when I'm done uploading this video, I'm going to try to upload some videos of Old Blue. 
like fucking me doing uh because i did the turn signals i put some sound on her i mean you gotta at least get a fucking you gotta hear the sound i have one where i'm playing Pr prince purple rain but i feel like youtube might kick it off so uh i'm gonna try to upload it i'll try to upload it as a quick little short excerpt or whatever so after i'm done recording this i'm gonna finish doing this talk a little bit more shit and then I'm going to try to upload that Prince Purple Rain one and see if y'all can hear that or if it just fucking immediately kicks it off because I don't own the rights. Um, and then I'll play one that I do own the rights and I back way away from my fucking uh, motor scooter. But yeah, one more time with the uh, 65 Roses with the lungs. Hit it with the purple tag on the chesties, right there on the chesticles. And then come, uh, oh, I hear it hardly. I wonder if it's here. Nope, it went by. Uh, black and white or black and gray i can't really tell because i am fucking fucking half cocked out here folks jeez oh pete i can't even i'm wearing my glasses and can barely see what these fucking buttons say so yeah uh 65 roses dixon flannel company and things and stuff yeah and the purple tag on the fucking chesticles is fucking i don't know man i think this bitch is dope I don't care what nobody says, man. This bitch is cool. This is probably one of the uh one of my top bamboos, man. Purple and white. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to custom me some shoes up for this. This bitch is cold as some bitch. So yeah, there's that man. So I did the Fortunate Youth, I did the Milton, I did the Merrimack, I did my fucking uh 65 Roses. Uh, I showed off my brother's t-shirt, my brother's towel, he got that other shit, he got a bullshit ass other t-shirt, I'm gonna have some other stuff, mostly I just fucking poured out my heart and drank with y'all, um, that's what it is, man, this is gonna be a long ass video, and whoever watches this long ass video is gonna know how to fuck to win one of the prizes for my 150 motherfucking subscribers, uh, and even if this video is on some bullshit, even if this upload is on some bullshit, this is still way better than the ones I've been deleting. And this is my step back. This is rehabilitation, folks. This is, hi, my name is Roach and I'm an alcoholic. Or wait, no, I'm still an alcoholic. Hi, my name is Roach and I probably won't kill myself. So there's that. You know what I mean? Fucking El Darko Grande. I don't know, uh, uh, uh. I mean, I know that black is uh, negro, and I don't know if that's fucking legit. So if I was like, ooh, grande negro, you know, like fucking for my humor and my uh, the place I've been, I mean, probably going to get flagged for racism or something, and they're going to kick me off because I'm fucking so white. I am grande blanco. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh -huh. With that being said, I'd like your mother to... Uh, mamo la grande pinga. Peace the fuck out, folks. Tell your mom I said bye. Tell your mom I said hi. And if you're young enough, tell your grandmother. I don't have my remote, so you're going to catch me touching the buttons. Touching the buttons. Ooh, touchy, touchy, touchy. Ooh, touchy. Peace. Much love, y'all.